Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's Urban Grind TV, Urban Grind Radio. I'm Treasure Nicole, your favorite Scorpio. Man, we are back for yes, another <laughs> week. Yes, sir. I'm Bree, what's happening? Mm, what's going on? Hey, y'all, what's up? This is your girl, Bree Nikhil, a.k.a. The Quiet Storm, a.k.a. The Secret Weapon. The Secret Weapon. And I am back. I'm excited to be here. How, how was y'all day? Wait, did you add oh, that? Wait, hold, wait on. hold on. The secret weapon. Let's yes. Talk. I feel like I'm, I'm like the sixth man on the team. You know what I'm saying? I like that position. I mm. like to be the person that nobody expect. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I gave myself that, I that like title. That. For sure. Hey, every time we introduce ourselves, our names will get longer and longer. I have to have me an extension. I'm your favorite Scorpio. I can give me a little extension. I have one next week. For but sure. But man, all the way to the left. Yes, yes. Who we have? Because, you know, he said he saw me on Facebook. Am I a catfish? I remember. No, definitely not. Oh, yeah. all right. Definitely not. So that's, that goes on the record. There we go. But tell <laughs> us who you are. Now, my name is um, Michael, but I go by Celebrity Interviewer. I said it. Celebrity interviewer, I said. So, you know, we interview celebrities. Right. And right now, you a celebrity. So, the celebrity, I mean, that all coincides. So, tell us, where, where did it start for you, and how did you get here? Well, I'm always humbled to, you know, be here on this platform. And anytime before I say anything about myself, I make it a habit to kind of give a couple of shout-outs so if you don't mind. Please do. You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, you know, the support mm-hmm. of the community of people around the world. So, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet today. But um, I just want to shout-out, you know, um, MIA Entertainment Group. I want to shout out Flawless Dreams Entertainment. I want to shout out, let me see, Laura Jala out there in Paris. I want to shout out Most B out there in Sierra Leone. I want to shout out my peoples out there in LA, you know what I'm saying? Cocaine, DJ, King Assassin, Freeway to Real Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? Just a few people, you know what I mean? Um, the Wind Down Show. I'm all over the place. You know, of course, coming back home to Chicago, it's just all love, Sister Africa. You know, and um, just many more. But I just want to say thank you, Brick Malone, LLC. And I'm just grateful for everybody. Definitely Masha Vu and Giselle, you know what I mean? Two very talented um, singers and songwriters. Okay. Okay. Did you bring them here with you today? Yeah, they are actually here today. We all came together, so it was all love. Okay. Mm-hmm. All love. I'm, I'm looking forward. To, I love to hear singers. So I'm yeah. definitely looking forward to hearing them and seeing them and, and connecting with you all. Right. Now, I... um. I do a thing at the beginning, and I ask you, because I'm into fashion, okay. and I ask the artist or the guest, um, who's their favorite designer, and what do you have on? Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, you know, because I'm really one of those people, like, my whole goal was always to create my own brand. I'm not really into other mm-hmm. people's brands. You okay. know, I've always wanted to brand myself, and so I'm grateful to say that my favorite brand is myself. I say the management mm-hmm. is cocky or whatever it. that may sound egotistic but you know what I mean it's like you know I feel like my favorite brand is my brand and anybody that has their own brand that represents them and whatever they stand for Mm -hmm. and you have your brand here today we see we have you have the I said it hat Mm -hmm. y'all check out the hat make sure y'all zoom in on the hat hat. we could put it in the middle right Um, so tell us do you have hats and what other merchandise do you have for the people that want to know so I'm grateful to say that I also have hats on deck what you're looking at right now, that's the red and white joints. We had an all black everything. And then when it comes to shirts, you know, various colors, whatever like that, I try to stick to the colors that's within the logo, you know what I mean? Um, with that being said, we also have custom jackets as well. I actually left those in the, in the car today. <laughs> but, um, you know, I even got leather jackets that I'm working on and doing that in, like, distribution as well. Okay. So that's what I'm doing uh, when it comes to my branding. Okay. So you, you're what I like to call... Uh an octopus in the industry, right? Because mm-hmm. you do, you do tons of things. Your 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 arms stretch so far. So I want to know with all the things that you do with the management, with you running your own brand and and everything that you do. What's your favorite? W- w- where do you find your heart at? So um, my favorite, I would have to say, is the foundation is poetry. I started poetry 1999. Um, got on stage within the community of po- poets in 2001. You know what I mean? I'm about to be 43 years old. 
Oh, and wow. I'm just grateful, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Leo. You a Scorpio. Oh, Leo. I see it. I'm a Leo. You said you see it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm up here with lions. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. King and queen of the oh, jungle. Oh, oh. Let's take a pause for that right yeah. there. What what, what day is your birthday? I'm July 29th. Oh, I'm July 31st. Oh, that's what's Give up. Give me some of that. I'm peace scared. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry. So um, poetry was the foundation and then... Ten, going back 10 years ago, that's when I got into doing celebrity interviews, you know what I mean? And it started off, I started off hot. I was just, you know, blessed and just, you know what I mean, um, put in a good position. So the first interview was, um, I'm not going to name everybody, no, but yeah. just the first interview, it actually started with the brother who's the um, considered the godfather of ghetto house music. And that's mm. DJ Housemeyer from the West Side of Chicago. He, mm, okay. he supposedly had started, I say supposedly because I wasn't there, I was four years old. Mm -hmm. But so he started ghetto house music, he became the godfather. And um, and then from there I interviewed Shantae Moore and then I interviewed mm -hmm. Freeway to Real Rick Ross and this is back in 2014, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But my first interview was 2013. Okay. And then it just was up from there. Okay. And then I like how you talk about poetry too because I think just as, just as artists, and, and when we write our own songs, it, it technically is poetry, just mm -hmm. poetry to a beat, you know? And mm -hmm. so um, with the poetry, do you, have you found yourself in any competitions at all? Like in your journey being in those, you know, those, I know there's competitions out like Brave New Voices, just, just things that, you know, we watch on YouTube, but right. were you in any of those competitions coming up? Um, I only participated in one competition ever, and that mm. was against the legendary Dina Dean, and that was like 2003, yeah. I want to say. You know, like, we going way back, back oh, in the day, you know on. what I mean? But we did a, a competition. Um, matter of fact, I performed at the Matson Festival like in 2000, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I lost to a belly dancer, you mm. know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a, like, it was just an open talent yeah. competition. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. But, um, you know, she was working them hips, so you hey. know, I can't be mad at her, hips you know what I'm talking lie. about? Yeah. Hips don't lie. The thighs say lies, like they say, so mm. that's what it is. Okay. Hey, so I wasn't mad, this? though. That's smooth, smooth <laughs> operator. You know, I just wanted, I, I can't let it go. Like, um, it's rare that I be next to a Leo. You know, so what are the things that you hear about us all the time? Like, what, is, what are the things? Like, e negative or positive? And do you think that is, like, true? You know what I'm saying? I think it's definitely um, all the Leo, fellow Leos that I've met, it stands to be true. You know, but the thing with Leos, me born in July, like, Leos in July is less aggressive than Leos born in August. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you know, we're definitely sensitive people. We're definitely go-getters, mm -hmm. leaders, you know what I mean? And think highly of ourselves and can come off conceited sometimes because we're so confident, yeah. you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that we conceited. We just born with like a special confidence as Scorpios are, Gemini's, you know, and certain, um, you know what I mean, um, horoscopes. Okay, okay. Am I safe up here, y'all? Ah, oh, you safe, you safe. Man, safe I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's lions. Oh, I've heard that before, celebrity interview. I said it, okay? You gotta protect the treasure. Rewind the tape. Okay? <laughs> so, you know what? Um, I know you were interviewed before earlier on the, on the, yeah. on the radio side. And just being here, um, what do you have coming next? Tell the people that's viewing, because, you know, what do you have coming next? Man, so I always just like, my whole thing is, because I'm a single man with no children, so basically I say that because I have a lot of time on my hands. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, you can get in a lot of trouble out here by having too much time on your hands. So I stay busy, stay ambitious. So I'm grateful to say next, I have a um, my next Tribute to Women event tour um, coming up. It's estimated to be in October, where I'll be had the pleasure of honoring another extraordinary black woman, black queen out here. Um, I've honored 11 black women out here so far. Um, that'll be coming up in October. I actually doing my first mixtape, so I'm gonna play the role of like someone like a DJ Cali, um, you know what I mean? And um, I'm gonna invite artists to you know be on a mixtape to where you know if you have a new track or something like that, you really wanna um, promote it or put it out there, you know what I'm saying? You the last my platform because I wanna bring a lot of legends and celebrities, um, icons together, and they gonna show me love because you know what I'm saying I'm grateful to be in that position, and they gonna do some drops for me on this tape. So now you can say that you was a f on a tape that was affiliated with such and such. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's rare because sometimes for a new artist, they're not in that position. You got to kind of grind and work your way for up. Sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah, so I'm sure. kind of going to give you like a little lift or springboard. You know, that's what I say the management does. 
And um, you know, what else is coming up? Let me see. So the mixtape, um, next event, um, always got these um, clothes and things like that for um, sale. And then a rumba, it's something else. Um, help me out. What? Where can they find your clothes though? The web, is it a website? Yeah, so I'm actually finishing the website up because I didn't like how it looked. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm real being a Leo. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like somewhat a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, so if you want to, you know, any type of um, clothing, it's easy. Just contact me like directly, 219 801 1322. We're going to chop it up directly. I'm a direct person. Yeah. Okay. So just yeah. give us, for the people, one more time, give us where they can find you, where they can follow you. And before you leave, I would like to hear just a little Thank bit, you. just a little bit of a, of a poem that you have. Okay, okay. Well, let me get the poem out the way. All right. This was not written toward any woman in particular, though this was a tender temporary cure. You see an older girl heartache who hurts over her generosity has been often taken but not given back by a boyfriend's really faking love except when making love. Leaving a girl left confused getting played silly, searching for directory. Every time she opens her thighs, naive the real quality time. Well that's because she's been educating a bedroom instead of a class and with every oil gap in that girl she's truly sad, tears coming down her ass, she's heartbroken. And I'm just going to leave it at that. But that's mm -hmm. called a P-U-S-S-Y abuse habit. That's one of my classics. I wrote down when I was 19 years old and been performing, you know, on and off, you know. Incredible. Like that. that was but, great. Um, I'm that sorry. Great. Another way that, you know, people can find me is, you know, um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on any type of, you know, social media. If you just put in, I said it, one word, then um, bless you. Bless then, you. you know, you can easily find me. You know what I mean? It's always used in celebrity interview. I said it. I said it. The poet, all of that. That's me. And I'm on Facebook, and um, I'm easy to find, and I'm, I'm a good person to connect to, and I'm always grateful to network with anybody that's open to network. And my whole theme is good business and no business. Mm. And I said that you must be a dog, too, because I'm only allergic to dogs, and I'm seeing oh. something. So what's going on? Oh, you a, you a lion or a dog? I'm Tell a lion. I got lion hair over here. Oh, but hey, I don't know. Hair. I don't know. <laughs> but no, hey, y'all already know. Y'all be kicking it with Urban Grind TV, Urban Grind Radio. Man, I'm charging Nicole your favorite Scorpio, and you know what? The, the secret weapon. That's I. I want to. That's my favorite. Okay. Okay. Well, you can use it. My name is Bree Nikhil, the Quiet Storm, aka the Secret Weapon, and you can find me on all streaming platforms at Bree Nikhil. That's right. And peace to you all, queens. You know what I'm saying? Love what you do. Salute to you all. And um, you know what I mean? Just keep going hard, and don't let anybody, anybody to tell you that you can't do something. They're lying to you. Straight like that, in that order. I said it. Let's get this Urban Grand CD, y'all. Yeah. And you already know the celebrity reviewer. I said it, and we out here and listen to Urban Grand Radio, best radio in the business. You hear me?